Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the sixth tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to check out a couple of operations that you can perform on arrays in Perl. So I've got a script opened up and this one's called array underscore ops and uh, in this script on line number three I have created an array variable called ranks and uh, of course I've used the add the rate symbol to create this variable and uh, if you notice within the set of parentheses instead of having a comma between the numbers 1 and 10 I have two dots and uh, this is for sequential filling or filling of sequential data I should you know put it that way um, in Perl and uh, what this is going to do is uh, it's going to put the numbers 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9 between the numbers 1 and 10 on its own so you know it has saved you the effort of typing those numbers and you know putting commas between those numbers if if suppose you want sequential data then you could use uh, such a thing and uh, similarly on line number four I have created another array variable called alphabets and uh, in this variable instead of uh, storing numbers we're going to store alphabets but we don't want to type in all 26 alphabets so that's why we've typed in A and we've typed in Z and in between these we've put two dots so Perl is automatically going to try to fill uh, the data that it can fill between these two alphabets and that in our case is going to be all the other alphabets and on line number six I have a print statement that's going to try to print the contents of the variable ranks on uh, line number seven I have another print statement which is first going to display the text all alphabets it's going to display a colon and then after that it's going to show us all 26 alphabets in lowercase of course and then on line number nine I have created a scalar variable and uh, you can uh, be sure that this is a scalar variable because I've created it using uh, the dollar symbol and I've assigned to it the array variable alphabet so you know this is a fancy thing we haven't seen this sort of a thing in this course so each array variable in Perl has a scalar component and that is nothing but the number of elements that it has so in this case since we have numbers from 1 to 10 the length of this array is 10 and over here uh, we have all alphabets from A to Z so the length of this uh, should be 26 so when you uh, take the scalar component of an array which is the length and put it in a scalar variable then uh, you can access it later on uh, if required and that's exactly what we're going to do on line number 11 we have a print statement that's going to display the number of elements in the array alphabets so let me show you the output of the script when I run it uh, when I run the script I first see oops where has the window gone yeah it's right here so when I run the script I first see all ranks from 1 to 10 and then I see all alphabets from A to Z and then I also see the size of the alphabets array which is 26 so that's it for this tutorial in the next tutorial we are going to continue our discussion on arrays I hope you guys had fun watching this one you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already I'm gonna see you in the next video till then take care